Hey guys, welcome to Let's Build a Guitar. As I said at the end of my last video, November and December are going to be really sporadic for videos. I'm getting ready for this trip to Vietnam. Uh, today is going to be a time-lapse video. I think it's a really exciting time-lapse video. I think it's good. If you have been watching for a while, then you've probably seen this guitar before because I gave it to one of my friends. This was a guitar that I gave to one of my veterans friends. Yesterday was Veterans Day and this was about a little over a year ago. Watch the time lapse. We're going to come back. I'm going to fill you in on what's going on. And there's some surprises. Some a little rough. And some that are really good. If you'd like to follow the process of turning a block of wood like this into a guitar like this, then you've come to the right place. And if you would like to see me give this guitar away, click subscribe, hit the bell. Okay, do I do an inlay? Do One I... of these is what we're going to try and do. And you're going to start to see the magic. The curly maple starts to pop out. Nice wide curly maple on there.
Glossy front, the matte finish on the back, nice bird's eye maple and some curly on this neck. It's really, it's a really pretty neck. That's a warmeth neck that I had on hand. I, I hope he really likes it. fun guitar build huh I, I like time lapses they're kind of enjoyable I don't know maybe you don't like them at all so sorry about that if you don't I like them yesterday was Veterans Day and I went to St. Tony and uh, if you recall a few months ago I asked for prayer for Tony because he was in the hospital um, the one time that I went to see him, it was about four weeks into his hospital stay. I left thinking that I am probably never going to see him again. Yeah, it was a hard day. And his wife and daughter were there and they had to make some really, really hard decisions. It actually got to the place where they had to decide whether or not they were going to leave him on life support or not. And they decided finally that uh, the right thing to do is to take him off of life support and that was no easy decision by any means and I can't imagine what they went through but they took him off life support and he lived which was absolutely mind-blowing uh, he spent quite a few more weeks in the hospital so I don't know I know that it was at least two months maybe even a little bit longer than two months anyway he's home now and he is doing much, much better. I didn't film it because I just wanted to, I wanted to be uh, honoring of his privacy. I went and saw him yesterday and it, surprisingly he was doing really quite well. In fact, I would say anybody who knows Tony, uh, he's still the same Tony. <laughs> his jokes and uh, his laugh and giving me grief the entire time was awesome. Uh, so yeah, Tony, I just really appreciate you. I appreciate who you are as a person. But he said, hey Steve, what do you want to do with the guitar? Because he's not going to be able to play it anymore. It was hard as it was. He said, what do you want to do with the guitar? And he said, I want to give it back to you. And he said, maybe you can give it to another young guy that plays guitar. And you know, right away, somebody came to mind. I'm going to take this guitar to him. He has no idea this is coming. The reason why I thought about him was because for the guitar that I gave away to Pierre uh, in Milwaukee, his dad had nominated him for that guitar. Now this isn't a cloud style semi hollow, but I know that Landon has an acoustic guitar and what I've seen in the video, he's been doing all right with it and he's still playing, he loves music. So we're going to give this to Landon to encourage him. You get to go along with me. Now here's the really cool thing, is I'm going for three reasons really tomorrow. One, Lance, his dad, does epoxy work with wood and he really would like to consolidate someday, uh, collaborate, whatever, and, uh, and do a guitar with some different epoxies. I wouldn't mind doing a burl guitar with some epoxy. That'd be cool to do. Now he doesn't know that I'm bringing this guitar. So number one, epoxy, wood. He's a woodworker. I can't wait to see his stuff. Number two, we're going to give this guitar to Landon. And number three, Lance's wife Tao is Vietnamese. 
And so I'm going to have her help me just a little bit with my Vietnamese. We're just going to stop for now and we're going to pick up tomorrow as we travel to go give this away. It is the next day, so you're going to go with my wife and I. We're going to go visit Landon, give him this guitar. He doesn't have any idea that's coming. No clue. All right, we are almost to their place. We are going to go check out Lance's stuff first. He does this epoxy work that I want to check out. Maybe he'll show us a little bit how he does it, see a few of his projects. And then after that, we'll give the guitar to Landon. Should be a good time, so looking forward to this. All right, so we're here with Lance and I am going to, I am going to go check out Lance's shop. We've got some charcuterie board going on. This is pretty awesome. And uh, he's going to show us a little bit of what he does with the woodwork. Some of these are half completed projects. Okay. So we've got a little cedar board here. Yeah. No cedar animals. is really pretty though, huh? It is. It's, it's very, very red and then when you put the oil on it then it, it tends to darken up a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm. Is that walnut? Yep, walnut. A little, little bit of a curl there. It's hard to nice. pick up. Mm -hmm. A few boards. So how do you decide on coloring the resin or how does that work? There's different mica powders that you use and you okay. can pretty much do whatever you want. Blend two different colors. With the boards I stay pretty solid one color. Okay. How long does it take for it to set up? Uh, depends on the resin. Okay. Uh, up to three days. Up to three days. Yep. Some of them will dry a little quicker but the thicker the pour, the longer the, mm -hmm. the setup time. So are these like a charcuterie board or what do you use? No, I, I don't recommend that anybody oh. cut on these. No, not, not cut, but charcuterie. Yeah, like. yep. Like you could set up oh, a I charcuterie you would cut tray. It yeah. But I, yeah, if you're just it. taking, but yep. don't cut on them. Right? More of a decorative, yeah. Oh, here's a, uh, here's a board that's actually one of, one that probably took more cuts than any that I've made. Mm. And it's not, yeah. it's not finished yet. That's Wenge. Yeah, I've got Probably some Wenge, wenge at home yeah. as well. And then Paduak. Yep. Walnut and cherry. You take a piece of uh, Buckeye Burl here and stabilize it. And then you can... Yeah. Oh, it's so out, beautiful, yeah. Bring out the figure in that. So what are you doing to stabilize it? It's a, it's a vacuum process. Okay. Um, I'll get to that once you so, stabilize it, then you can... I'm gonna just... I'm gonna... Got it already. I got yeah. lots of them. Oh, wow. So that's what I mean by mixing two different... Yeah, you get... Two different colored micas. That's beautiful. There's all kinds. So are these all for calls then? These or? would be mostly call blank sizes. Um, so like all sorts of calls or like... Duck calls, duck calls, do? goose calls okay. is primarily the ones that I, that I do. Another, another buck. Let me get it first. We're gonna check it out without any water to bring it out. Okay. Ready? No, go ahead and spray. Wow. Yeah, it really makes them pop. Yeah, it does. If I've got a, if I've got a small pour. Like this, for example. Okay. I'll mix my resin and I'll always have a little extra mold over here. Oh, sure, too. And then I'll have something in there. So just that I have just, something yep, in there. So that I can make a small. Well, that makes sense, yeah, so you're not wasting anything. Because exactly. I mean, resin's expensive. I yeah. Mean. Yep, it's terrible expensive. Now. Is it an epoxy resin? Is that yeah. what it is? Okay. I've got a few different kinds that I use, primarily alumilite. Alumilite. Epoxy is what I use. Okay. That's a seven minute cure time. So there we go. Oops. From there, once I mix it and pour it, I got seven minutes to get it into the pressure pot. Okay. And compress the the bubbles. So into. you got your compression pot. Yep. Compression pot right down there. Yep. Do you have any of Upstairs. the calls around here? Or no I've calls. Got a couple calls that I've done trades on. This is from. Uh, Resurrection Calls. Uh, 
he was kind enough to make this for me. Well, let's get in the light and <laughs> tell me what's good here. Yeah. You dry the wood to zero percent. You don't want zero percent water in there. Zero. And I think percent. most wood. Wow. Even dry is about ten percent. Yeah, yeah. So I put it in my smoker. Okay. For Twenty-four to forty hours, whatever it takes to get it down to zero, and then you'll put it into a vacuum chamber. I've got a few different vacuum chambers that I've used over the years. Okay, are all these things? I mean, did you just make these? Is that? I made this. I bought this. Okay. And I bought this. You're immersing it into the resin to stabilize it. Uh huh. And then you're putting vacuum on it. You vacuum anywhere from, again, 24 to 40 hours okay. until the bubbles stop coming out of it. Okay. Once you release the vacuum, all those Let's voids are filled with the stabilizing resin. Okay. At which point you have to cure it. So you cook it for about two hours. At, and it's already colored. You can dye it whatever or, color you want to. And the particular product that I use for the stabilizing resin and stabilizing dye is cactus juice. Cactus juice. Turn Tex. Okay. Gun grips. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I got it. had a customer actually do some gun handles out of the sister to this. Okay. Wow, that beautiful. would be cool. So what do you think? Should I cooperate with Lance and have him help me do a epoxy guitar here? That's right. We got another shop to look at. Yep. I wasn't even thinking about yep. that. He's got another shop, so we can go we look got, out there. We've got the garage <laughs> shop yet. Yeah. Awesome. That's pretty much the oh, basement. This, this could get really fun. Leave a comment below and tell me if I ought to be doing this. <laughs> if we ought to make one of these guitars. I was going to play something for us. He's got a uh, Squire. Maybe, yeah. Yep, a little Squire Strat that he's got there. So do you have a tuner or you do, don't have a tuner? Uh, no, this one's just tuned differently. So oh. it's not standard tuning. Oh, you've got a tune, like open tuning? Yeah. Yeah? So what do you got to tune to just to... What tone should I do? I don't know, which tone is good? I have the reverb on that one. <laughs> Awesome. That's fun. So what's your open tuning then that you're using, do you know? Open E tuning. Open E. Okay. Yep. So do you play standard tuning also or do you just pretty much I open? mainly play standard tuning. Well, you know, I brought a guitar and I brought my little my little practice amp yeah. too, so I'm going to go get it and yeah. bring it in, okay? You're going to add to your collection today because I'm giving this to you. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. So this is your guitar. Oh. <laughs> trying to give him the no power. I can't that's that's why I came <laughs> so I get to build them there's a story behind this one though so I built this one for an army vet he got out of the hospital he'd been in the hospital for about two months and he's he can't play guitar anymore and he says I want to give you that guitar back to you and I want you to give it to some young guy I guess I'll just let you take you can plug it in wow try it out <laughs> Landon's a great young man, just a really, seems like he's got a really gentle, good heart. So Landon, just keep working at it. And uh, yeah, you're doing really great and you've got a lot going for you. So really appreciated you and who you are. Well, as I said, November, December, they're going to be kind of sporadic and I'm going to be leaving for Vietnam really soon. So where do I go next? What's going on? Well, I'm hoping to finally get a little bit more done with this, get the electronics put in this finally and get it set up. I am so close to being done with this, but I've been putting it off because I've been doing things for other people and this is my own personal guitar. But I've been having guys ask me, hey, whatever happened to that 
uh, guitar that you were making. Well, what's going on with it? Are you are you still working on it? And so, yes, I am working on it. Hopefully, I'll get it done here real soon. And then I am going to make a travel video for a Let's Build a Guitar. I know this isn't a travel channel, but I'm going to take you along with me to let you see a little bit of the work that gets done because of the guitar that I sold that helped go towards this trip anyway to bring these wheelchairs over to Vietnam. And the other thing is, I'm really hoping I can find the street in Ho Chi Minh City. There is a guitar street with 30 guitar shops in just a matter of a few blocks. So I'm hoping to find that out. Now I've done a little bit of research on it and it looks like there are, well, there's some guys there where that have their shops that's kind of mass produced guitars, but there's some other shops there that look to be really quite elite and like really skilled craftsmen who have been building very nice guitars for many years. And the price that you can get them there uh, versus what you would pay for a similar guitar here is drastically different. So, We'll go see if that's all true. I'm going to check that out. And I hope you don't mind, but it's going to be a very different video because I'm going to take you along with me. And like I said, it's going to be more of a travel video. So I'm going to stop and eat some places, do some things. It's going to be more of a, hey, let's go along with Steve on a trip somewhere type of video. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that. If you don't enjoy that type of thing, well, then you know what? Skip the next couple of months of watching me and go watch something else. Have a great night, guys. Keep fighting for joy. We'll see you next time.